Hello, welcome to Luna Mandarin Designs. Today I'll be doing a commission. The person wanted a doll with tattoos and a sexy outfit. So for the base, I will be using a Draculaur and for her head, I am using a Batsy. To start the doll, I begin by painting her head brown so that no pink is showing after the reroute. For this reroute, I will just be rerouting the whole head. Before starting her face up, I do give her a nose piercing. I just poke a hole and feed a small drooly wire through the hole and cut it to size and shape it with some pliers. I start with giving her freckles and some muted peaches, some browns, some pinks, just to make it as natural as I can. I then go on to straw on the face with a muted down color so if I make mistakes, it's easy to erase. For her face up, the person wanted it to be similar to face up she did herself, which had a lot of red, blacks, gold, and blue whites. Once I am happy with how her face looks, I add darker colors and add the whites of her eyes. I then add gold details around her eyes and the shadow and the corners. Just anywhere I felt it fit. I also went with acrylic went in with acrylic paints to add more pigment to the colors of her shadow and liner. For her eyes, it's just going to be similar to the rest of her face up with red, black, and of course, gold. did paint the silver ring gold so it would fit better with the rest of the makeup. I then add two face tattoos. I love adding tattoos to dolls. I have done a few in the past, but I am glad now I am able to show you guys on my channel. Her face tattoos are just a cherry blossom branch and a crown above her eyebrow. I gloss her lips and eyes and the face is done. I did go back and add some more piercings to her ears as well. Her outfit is very simple. I took an old tights fabric and made a tube dress similar to the Ice Queen's dress in my last video. I made a harness just to add a little more spice to her outfit. I did try to film making a harness, but my hands kept covering over what I was doing and it's also very small. <laughs> I did also go back and change a few details of her outfit that you will see later in the final pictures. Time for my favorite part of this doll, the body art slash tattoos. Some of these tattoos are the person's actual tattoos she requested to be added and some are from Pinterest. I first start by drawing in the tattoos with a pink colored pencil so that I have a rough sketch to work off of when I'm building the colors.
I have a few dolls before my YouTube channel that are fully tattooed. One will make an appearance in the end in the final photos, but you just won't get to see much of their tattoos. If you do want to see these dolls that I did with the tattoos, they are on my Instagram. You just have to scroll real far <laughs> down to see. Out of all of her tattoos, my favorite one is the one on her back. It's just bright, fully colored, I just love it. Her leg tattoos also did turn out to be the best.
I also add some freckles to her shoulders just to match better with her face, and here are all her tattoos. And here's the final doll. The person who requested this commission named her Selena. I had a lot of fun making this doll, specifically doing the tattoos. She is more simple repaint compared to my last two dolls. I know this doll isn't specifically a Valentine's Day doll, but when I was taking her photos, I did pair her with one of my other tattooed dolls. I was just trying to make those couple Instagram goal photos that you see all over Instagram, but it was hard to do when the dolls are very small and they don't really bend. She is now in her new home. I love it when I get to create dolls and know that they are going to a place where the person actually appreciates them just as much as I do. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope to see you next time. Follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more a part of my process. And subscribe to catch future videos. Have a creative day. See you guys soon. Bye!